Okay, these are two of the products I'm using um, on this window repair. The Top Gun Blazing Putty. That's the first time I've used it, at least that I can remember. And I used the polyfill, the decorator's filler, all the time, inside and out. Not, not extreme outside, but outside. Uh, round windows and stuff is fine. So what do I got here is the windows I've been working on for the last couple of days. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Um, now we've replaced the bottom. This one I didn't do as great a job as I did this. When you don't do it for a while, you forget. Now I, now I, next time I see this, I'll, I'll remember. Or I should watch one of my old videos and it's, oh, how did I do that? This is the trick over here. Taking one long piece and fitting it in there so it hits the bottom of the glass. And then you just chop out exactly what you can cut out over here. You get yourself a piece first, offer it up, then cut to the piece. And if you're lucky, the inside won't be damaged. But if the inside's damaged, then it's a whole different ballgame on appearance. This is a garage, so we're not worried about it. Now, on the inside, I also need to put a little bit of beading, or is it the outside? Someplace I need to put some beading. Maybe it's the inside. A little bit of beading. And both of these posts were broken at the bottom and glued with two-part polyester filler. You, they don't need to be extremely sturdy. It just needs to be in place so you can get the other ones. And all this other glass and everything will hold that right where it wants to be. Still got a hole there. So what I'm going to do now is take this uh, decorator's filler. And um, I've got that gob there. I want to use that. I hate, I hate waste. I'm going to stick it into these cracks here. And this crack over here. And then that's it. I've had, to, I've had this covered overnight. And the, the top gun didn't dry very good at all. It's still wet. And, and I mean, it looks messy now, but usually what happens is I let it dry for a little while, then I come in with the razor blade and clean up the edges a little bit because I want to get right down on the edge. And then I was painting in the dark last night anyway. So that's the trick, this one long piece. And then I used the heat gun this morning because it's 10 degrees outside and damp. So I wanted to get the, at least get it surface dry so it can be dry. And then I want to get a, a top coat on there. Um, not top coat an undercoat because this is this is gets it may not be pretty but it needs to needs to be strong otherwise I'm wasting my time I got the time now to do it I got this is primer undercoat on here dulux now I'm just gonna come back in a little while and I'll hit that with some heat in a minute and then um, paint this thing with some undercoat in an hour or two I've dried it all off lightly with a hot air gun going around and you can actually see some places drying and you know so that's just going to help things set for a little while this morning while it warms up so that's it for now on these except if I wanted to do the inside and um, inside's not real big priority uh, right now I got another window to cut out I got to replace a pane of glass in another window uh, could do a little video on that if, if we need to, but uh, decorator's filler and then some coffee and then back to the, a ladder work, I think, now. Yeah.